let me say something crazy. Magic is not real. This is magic, which is not real, but I'm pretty sure a few of you are currently amazed. Before I distinctly explain my content, I would like to perform a small magic trick. Today I brought a one deck of cards. Well, I actually wanted to bring a red deck of cards, but since I brought a blue deck of cards, I feel like I just have to perform with this. However, I have a powerful weapon, which is misdirection. So do you mind guys looking over there and... The problem seems to be solved. Asking an audience to pick a card is very cliche things for a magician to ask, but since there's no audience in this stage, I'll pick the card instead. The card that we chose is 10 of club. Now, I'll continue the speech as the speech goes by. What I just showed you, the color changing magic is the art of misdirection. It's what makes magic so beautiful. Today, I'm going to go in depth and explain about what misdirection is. But before that, let's go back to the past and see when my magic era has begun. I started magic when I was in elementary school. I have seen a remarkable performance from my friend. I agree that this isn't an enormous motivation. However, ever since that performance, I dedicated most of my time to magic. I was genuinely in love with it. The tricks and the theories has constantly attracted me to be in love with it. As you can see, I have tangent for magic. Knowing the tricks behind the magic, knowing the theories behind the magic, it was fascinating for me even at a young age. Now, if I had a malicious in intention of learning magic, I might have enjoyed people getting fooled, and possibly I might have pickpocketed their belongings, which I did for entertainment. I didn't learn ma magic in order to cause any harm. Since I wanted to entertain people, I rather studied in this and tried to discover the theories behind the magic. Due to magic, I started to observe the world differently. I started to relate everything with the theory of magic. Through eight years studying magic, I discovered that magician utilizes lots of theories in order to enhance their tricks, such as adaptability, acting, storytelling, misdirection, and everything. Due to magic, I truly ameliorated myself. I could see everyday aspect of life through the lens of these concepts. Therefore, today I'm going to talk about what misdirection is and how it relates to our life. But first of all, what is misdirection? When we think of misdirection, we're thinking of directing someone to the wrong place or the wrong direction. And people commonly think that, oh, look over there and do some sneaky action. Well, it could be actually interpreted as people deceiving themselves by focusing their attention to the different place while also disdaining that it's much more significant. Magician distracts audience sight using misdirection. Even though the magician doesn't intentionally behave or act to distract the audience, they distract themselves with whatever casts their eyes. However, not even in magic, we could discover analogous situation in our life. For instance, if I have passion for money, I would evaluate most of the situation only through a financial lens. Such as when I observe someone, I'll first evaluate them how much money they earn or how useful they could be on rendering the money. Even when I'm encountering an ethical choice. When I'm encountering an ethical choice between doing what's right and doing what gains me more money, I might have chose what gains me more money. Now, this easily represents what misdirection is. I addressed an example through money. However, the distraction could be anything. It could be your interest, it could be your idealistic value, it could be your hobby, it could be literally anything. This interest and things causes us the distraction as we blindly follow these things. Now, as entering to 2020, we have encountered an abysmal situation. COVID-19. Due to COVID-19, people were emotionally suffering. They were highly devastated. Now, we could actually discover a misdirection during this pandemic. Now, I actually brought a student A and B. Now, student A and B were like an identical twins. Student A and B received a average grade, and they were embracing every situation positively. And they had like same talent or same hobby. But as the COVID occurs, student A opted to focus on their sentiment such as being depressed or considering the situation as abysmal. However, the person B used this pandemic as an opportunity to develop oneself, developmentally, physically, or 
in various ways. Now, as the pandemic ends, student A and B gather. They were a total different person. Now, student A received the same grade that they used to get before pandemic and had a quite similar talent before pandemic. However, the person B was a total different person. Person B embraced the situation more positively and was more talented. Now, what is the difference between these two? It's about not getting distracted. Student A was distracted by the sentiments, such as being depressed and embracing or considering the situation as abysmal. However, the person B used this pandemic as an opportunity to develop oneself. This easily represents during this um, misdirection during this pandemic. Besides this, there are many other situations where misdirection takes control, such as creating a life goal you don't really want. What you really want to be is following a path of an author, but you're following a path of a doctor because of what your parents expected from you, because you want to earn a lot of money, because you want to um, gain more prestige. It could be any reason. These expectations and social standards causes us the distraction which um, blindly deceives you into giving up your true happiness as you blindly follow those other people's desires and prestige. Like the example has shown, misdirection is literally everywhere. Ultimately, when you're seeing only one side, it is hard to comprehend the whole story. I want to ask, what are you fixated on? When we're interested in something in our surface level, what we think has value often distracts us from viewing at the entire truth as we finally follow other people's desire. However, if we change our essence on viewing things, it will let us comprehend the whole truth. Then what do I mean by changing our essence on viewing things? As I've said, in magic, misdirection makes magician deceive audience and distracts audience. And it happens so much in real life too. In consequence, we lose and miss lots of more significant sight, resulting in us not being able to grasp what is actually important. It limits us to only what we want to or deceive to see. The meaning of changing our essence and viewing is widening our thoughts and perspective and when I'm encountering the situation. I know that this is not going to um, change suddenly. And even though you try, it's not going to change suddenly. However, if you constantly, constantly try to widen your thoughts and perspective, it will one day be beneficial for your futures and the situation that you encounter. Adapting to this viewpoint will be a significant change in your life. I would like to end my speech by telling you what to focus on this magic. Now, first of all, I just want to really say thank you for um, watching my performance and my speech, but you haven't focused on this card. Now, while I was producing the cards, nobody was focusing on what's written back of the card, which is the car exactly matching with the card that we chose. In addition to this, I've actually worn the ring, silver ring, for like a two weeks to make the audience be adapt with what I'm wearing or what I'm actually using in my hand. So when I make it vanish, they don't actually notice where to go. Sometimes when we go through life, even simple things, we're, we think we're not distracted by our obsession and fixation, it is easy to get deceived. We don't know when that's going to occur and how it's going to occur, like the car magic tricks. Even simple things can catch you at any moment. If your vision is narrowed and just fixated about these things, you're blind about it, it is hard to comprehend the whole story. So as soon as you leave this place, consider what you're fixated on and what consumes your attention. Or and consider that, um, think about it, if that's actually truly valuable or if it's just a distraction that causes you into giving up your true happiness. And if it is, then take a step and open your eyes and see your true essence on viewing the truth so that you don't miss out what's actually important. Thank you.